Hey everyone, this is weather forecaster Liam. Here's your top weather news and headlines for today's video. Parts of the southeast are likely to see a quick burst of snow from Thursday through Friday. And some areas in the southeast could see, yes, double-digit snowfall totals. We'll have the latest on that winter weather threat, and also in association with that winter weather, some heavy rain to the south of the snow could bring the threat for some flood into the southeast. And some areas in the southeast have already seen the wettest winter on record, with some areas with more than two feet of rainfall this winter so far. I'll have the latest forecast on that, and also the three-day National Weather Service forecasted temperatures, and the six to ten-day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. All of this and more is coming up right here on TRA Weather. All right, today is February 19th, 2020. As always, we start off with a look at the latest National Weather Service hazards map where it's rather quiet across the United States, except in parts of the central and southeast. The areas shaded in green are all under flood warnings, and man, that just covers a very large area in the southeast, up the Mississippi River and into parts of the Ohio Valley. And again, that's because some areas have gotten their wettest winter on record, with some rainfall accumulation since 2020 at over two feet of rain. And sadly, we have even more rain on the way. And also those areas shaded in purple are under winter weather advisories for the possibility of some accumulating snow. And you see that isn't just in the central United States, but also in the southeast as well. And even some winter storm watches in effect now for very eastern North Carolina and very southeastern Virginia. But before we get to that, here's the three-day National Weather Service forecasted temperatures for the entire United States. And we're starting off with Thursday's high temperature where it's mainly below average for this time of the season for many areas in the United States, with the warmest spots obviously being in California, Arizona, and Florida, and the coldest in New York State, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Now over to Thursday night's low temperature, where things really start getting chilly everywhere in the United States, with single digits and negative digits in the north, teens further south, and even low 30s and 20s in the south, central, and southeastern United States. And we will have to watch that for the potential for some black ice to form, especially in those rain-soaked areas in the southeast. Now the Friday's high temperature where things warm up a bit, but still in the 40s across much of the United States and 30s and 20s to the north. And Friday's low is rather similar to Thursday's, but a little warmer in the north and a little cooler to the south. Now, the Saturday's high temperature where it's about at or above average now for the United States with widespread 50s and a few 40s and 30s to the north. And it still may be cold Saturday night, but it's still warmer than the first two previous nights. So the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook calls for a very high chance for below average temperatures really across the entire United States, with the exception of California, southern Florida, and parts of the mid-Atlantic and northeastern United States. So let's go over to the future radar forecast from the NAM 3 cam model for the eastern half of the United States, starting with very late tonight, midnight, going into Thursday. You see we have some light lake effect snow across New York State, Michigan, and upper Michigan, though not anticipating that to last much longer. Also some snow across the central United States, though accumulations will be light between 1 and 3 inches, and some rain to the south central and southeast in the United States. Let's go forward to 7 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday morning. That rain across the south central United States starts to make its way further eastward into the southeastern United States. You see places like northern Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama starting to get some heavy rainfall into those regions. And those areas in particular have been hit very hard this winter with very high rainfall accumulation totals. So not good to see the NAM model predicting that for tomorrow morning. And also that snow starting to diminish across the central United States. There's still some snow showers tomorrow morning across portions of Kansas, western Oklahoma, and northern Texas. So let's go forward again to Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Places like Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina starting to see some decent rainfall. They're also starting to see some blue 
showing up on this map in portions of Tennessee, southwestern Virginia, in western North Carolina. In places like Tennessee and western Virginia, now I'm predicting your snowfall totals to be very high, though some areas could see between 1 and 4 inches of snow. Higher accumulations will be in the higher elevations, especially in the Appalachian Mountains. So let's go forward again to 4 p.m. Eastern Time Thursday evening, and now we're focused on the southeastern portion of the United States. Still have rain going on across Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, though some moderate snow, too heavy at times, now falling across portions of Virginia and portions of central and northern North Carolina. Also have some snow lingering in Tennessee, and maybe also some snow working its way further to the south across South Carolina and northern Georgia, also for northern Alabama. Let's go forward again to 7 p.m. Eastern Time Thursday evening. Have that center of low pressure just off the coast of North and South Carolina at 1,008 millibars. Still have some rain across Alabama, though starting to exit the state of Mississippi and Louisiana finally. And also some rain still lingering across northern Florida and South Carolina, though going to have to watch that rain snow line. I don't really think it's going to get any further to the north, though it may dig a little further to the south. So places like South Carolina, northern Georgia, northeastern Alabama, uh, snow may go a little further to the south than anticipated by this model and a few others. So keep that in mind if you live in the central South Carolina, northern Georgia, northeastern Alabama region. Could see some flakes falling late Thursday night, very early Friday morning. Forward again to 10 p.m. Eastern Time Thursday night. Some heavy snow going on and also some moderate snow across portions of North Carolina and southeastern Virginia. Some rain mixing with snow at times across South Carolina. Also the same for northern Georgia, though the precipitation is starting to exit those states of Alabama, Georgia, and also Florida. Forward again to 3 a.m. Eastern Time Friday morning, very late Thursday night going into Friday morning. Precipitation is about exited the states of Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Though still some snow showers, also some rain mixing at times across South Carolina and North Carolina, and also maybe the very southeastern part of Virginia. Go forward again to Friday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Hopefully by this time, all the rain and snow has worked its way on out, just dealing with some light rain showers across Florida, and maybe a few lingering rain and snow showers on the North Carolina coast. But let's take a look at the entire United States for Friday afternoon, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And man, it just looks really nice across the entire United States. I don't really remember the last time I've seen the entire United States this precipitation free. Granted, there may be a few rain showers in Florida, also a few flurries across New York State. But other than that, a very nice day across the entire United States Friday afternoon. Now let's go over to your tier weather rainfall totals for now and until Friday from the GFS model. Now the area is expecting the highest rainfall totals are going to be in eastern Texas, northern and central Louisiana, and central and southern Mississippi and Alabama. Now those areas are expecting between 2 to 4 inches of rainfall. Some areas could even see higher totals than that. So if you live in those areas and your area is prone to flash flooding, please keep an eye on the forecast for tomorrow morning into the afternoon and evening hours on your Thursday for the potential of some flash flooding. Though not just the rain we have to talk about, we also have to talk about the snow. So here's your TR weather snowfall totals for now and until Friday. We're going to show you four different models. We're going to start with the GFS, and this is actually the least aggressive out of all four models. Now for uh, North Carolina, generally has it in the central and eastern half of North Carolina between two to four inches. Some areas could be higher than that. Though it has most of the snow isolated to the state of North Carolina. It does go into portions of Virginia and Tennessee a little. Though other than that, not much outside of the state of North Carolina. Though as we go over to the European model, 
yeah, much different. It expands that snow by quite a bit, much more into Virginia, even into Kentucky, Tennessee, northern South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, even into northern Mississippi. But it doesn't quite have the snowfall totals very high. It actually has it lower than the GFS did in North Carolina and many other places. Though, again, expands that snow further. Now we go to our third model, the NAM model. And man, look at that in northeastern Carolina coast. Between 12 to 15 inches, the NAM model is forecasting in northeastern North Carolina. That is a whole lot of snow for anywhere in the United States, especially in North Carolina. So definitely have to watch that. Now, I do think that is overdoing it a little, though the NAM model is still forecasting that much. So definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. Though generally in the state of North Carolina, between three and seven inches can be expected. Also has higher totals for Virginia and also some pretty decent totals across central and eastern Tennessee and also northern South Carolina, northern Georgia, and northeastern Alabama. Now to our fourth and final model, the WRF model, again for now and until Friday. And this model actually wasn't totally done yet. It still had about six, seven hours of additional snowfall yet to go. Though this gives you a general idea on how much this model was forecasting. So take a look at this and add the totals up by about one to two additional inches. Rather similar to the NAM model, backs off a little bit on the snowfall totals, mainly between three to six inches across North Carolina, a little more across Tennessee, but definitely drags that snowfall, the bulk of it at least, further south into portions further into South Carolina and also into Georgia. Places like Columbia, South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia could have some light accumulations if this model holds true. Though it is still one model, still have to keep an eye on it. So here are the storm hazards from this storm event we're having here in the southeast. Snowfall totals will be medium. Low visibility risk will be medium. Icing will be medium. The main freeze and rain sleep threat will be isolated to actually the North Georgia mountains. Some areas in the mountains could see between a tenth to a quarter of an inch of ice, though not anticipating that to cause many difficulties. Though if you do live in those areas in the North Georgia mountains, keep an eye on the ice and threat up there. Wind will be medium. Cold temperatures during this event will be low. Some areas now are not even going to get to freezing during this event. Most areas in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, Georgia are going to be in the mid-30s, so not very cold. Power outages are going to be low. Rainfall mixed in with that snow is going to be medium. And flooding from this storm event is going to be high. When to expect this? You can expect this from Thursday through Friday. And the hazardous area is the southeastern portion of the United States. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Make sure to like and share this with family and friends or whoever you would think that would enjoy watching TRI weather. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also check out the links listed below to both my Twitter and Instagram pages and my brand new weather Discord channel. Thank you. See you next time.